Welcome to Last Epoch. This is a brand new Diablo-like game currently in development by 11th Hour Games. So today I'm going to show you some of the brief features. So just a heads up before we start the video, this is pre-alpha. So if you're seeing this from the Kickstarter, this is a super early build, guys. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let me show off some of the skills in the game right now. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot, especially for a pre-alpha build. I'm going to show you the ones that I've got equipped right now. So we've got lightning. This is just a basic attack, costs very little mana as you can see. And I've also got my fire shield here. Pretty cool. It's actually called fire shield, ironically. I've got black hole, which is a huge amount of damage, kind of a big AOE, almost like an ultimate ability. So I've also got glacier. Pretty cool stuff. And it's actually got a third attack, but I specialized out of it for a different buff. And lastly, I'll show you volcanic orb. I will show you Elemental Nova as well, just because of how cool it looks. But one of the things that Last Epoch is doing right is the specialization that you can do with skills. So in Diablo 3, for example, you've got your runes to change the actual abilities themselves. Well, Last Epoch has an entire skill tree around a skill. It's actually incredible. Just playing it, uh, it's been fantastic to go through, and as you can see, I've allocated a few points. Every single skill has its own bloody skill tree. This is absolutely insane. The customization around this is probably the most exciting thing about this game. So as of now, uh, I will show you just a, a despec really quickly. So you can actually despecialize, and you will lose all of your points, all of the points that you've gained are completely gone. This seems like a bad thing, but I really liked it. As I progressed and used new skills, I slowly started to realize that, hey, there is a punishment if I don't actually, you know, use these skills. But anyway, let's, uh, let me show you. So right now, the skill tree only exists for six of the abilities, which, yeah, that's just how it is. You know, it's pre-alpha, so it's kind of what you could expect. But yeah, as you can see, the branching is just amazing. I just cannot get over uh, how fun this specific feature is. The specializing is anyway. Okay, so let me talk about the passive grid. Now you've got two type of points you can spend, access points and node points. So access points extend uh, your reach. Each one has its own unique thing. Node points add an extra feature on top of that that you would expect from a standard passive tree anyway. So adding a node point into this does 50% increased chance to stun on cold abilities. So really powerful stuff. So you've got a pretty basic understanding about some of the features. As you can see, there's no potions in the game. We've actually got this little section here. So this is E. I can actually use these. And if my health is low, uh, it does go up. And as you can see, it's just not an infinite recharge. It's not a potion spamming game. There are consequences. Okay, so there's also a Path of Exile style shield in this game, which they're calling Ward. And I've just swapped one of my skills here to Innovate to give you uh, an example on what it actually looks like. Pretty straightforward stuff. Goes down over time. You can spec into it to make it more effective. Now, one of the other features that I found pretty decent as well is the crafting, I guess you would call it. Let's jump in here and have a look. So you can actually break down weapons with these shattering stones, chuck them in here, shatter, and you get these individual shards. Each shard does their own thing, increase void damage, fire protection, I'm reading off the top by the way, uh, increase potion refill rate, all of these fantastic features that you can, you know, chuck an item in, actually I think that's already spec. This has two available slots, let's go and chuck in this one, here we go, increase chances done. Forge, that item now has that stat attached to it. Really awesome stuff. You're able to customize your items individually. Okay, so last of all for Last Epoch, I'm going to show you one of the legendaries or unique items in the game. I've only found one so far. I have no idea which direction they're going to go, but this kind of feels like a pretty good example. So this is a unique mercenary armor called the Falcon. Adds 100 dodge. 10% increased movement speed, but 20% additional increased movement speed if you have been hit recently. It seems like they're going to go for a Diablo 3 style legendary system where each one has its own kind of special quirk. 
like this 20% increased movement speed like after you've been hit. That's all I can say about the legendaries. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple more playthroughs, try and find a few more. But anyway, this is the Sorceress. Whole lot of fun. Uh, really enjoying last epoch. Alrighty guys, if you like this video, uh, stick around, I'm going to be doing another one on the other class. Also, all of Last Epoch links are in the description, their Discord, their YouTube, website, everything. You can actually get your hands on the build as well if you want to check it out for yourself. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, friends. See you later.